What is going on guys? It is your boy Biggers and we're here for another episode of the Pokemon Legends RCS Let's Play on the channel. In today's episode, we're going to be heading up to get our victory speech for finally taking on the very last noble and completing that. If you did not watch that absolute agonizing battle against Avlug, I highly recommend you go check out the last episode because it was a doozy and a half. Not to mention Avlug got a Hisuian form, which I'm going to have to see how I can get that because that thing looked amazing. But with that being said, like, comment, subscribe like only the Biggest Brigade can. And you guys know the deal. You guys know the spiel. Let me go ahead and head on up here and get our victory speech along our way. And like he said, maybe even get a smile. Each of your Pokemon nobles became frenzied and now each of them has been quilled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. As we're just over here, eee! And to think, peace would be restored to Hisuian by the hand of our mysterious Riftborn helper. That's a small smile. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn in a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. That is what you think. I'm pretty sure something's gonna happen. I'm super excited to see and find out. Go nourish yourself at the well of Wallflower and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget, the Serve Corps work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Isuian without fearing the Pokemon around us. Mission completion. Ah, I love it. That's another story mission. Now, I wonder how many missions there actually has been in this. I think it's been almost 20 at this point. Not positive, though. He wrong person. It's always him who talks first. I tried to be preemptive and be there when he was going to voice, and I was wrong yet again. Thanks for this nice, sizable helping of Potato Mochi, Benny. Oh, chum. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. He didn't talk at all this time. Wow. All right, then. Oh, my gosh. Having the nobles all quilled puts a grave threat to rest. Now it's time we focused on our survey work. Though, we still can't let our guard down around regular wild Pokemon, of course. Because, you know, I got thunder shocked at some way, shape, or form. I certainly had reservations as to... Yeah, reservations. Yeah. <laughs> I caught... <laughs> I stopped myself because I thought I said the wrong word, and I did not. I certainly had reservations as to whether Avlog needed quilling. But if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. Yes. Someone might have been under attack by some frenzied noble this very moment figures hadn't come falling out of the sky to us. I still wonder, though, just what is the space-time rift anyways? And what will make it finally go? Wait, if the rift were to vanish, would that leave bigger stranded here? I have no idea. Maybe as it's vanishing, I just, like... <laughs> just get sucked in real quick. Well... Our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I have no doubt. And even if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilee Village because... What about my mom and dad, though? Who knows if I have a mom and dad? We... I just had a huge, like, light bulb. This is the first game... The very first Pokemon game, we don't have a mom. Whoa. We never saw our mom in the beginning of the game. That's how we've always done things. Red and blue, we went and saw our mom before we had to leave. She stopped us. Crystal, same thing. Gold and silver, same thing. Fire red, leaf green. Um... Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, 
Pearl Diamond. I I'm going through the games to like think of the process at the beginning of the game. Because I've seen the beginning of the game more times than I can count. Um, Black and White. Black and White 2. No, we still have a mom. I just don't know if we talk to him very often. Um, think bigger. What's the next games? X and Y. Yeah, absolutely. Because she's a Rhyhorn uh, racer. Sword and Shield. Absolutely. Because everyone thought that was really, really cool how everything changed there. Sun and Moon. Yes. Oh, Sun Ultra Moon. Yes. Wow! This is the first one! Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us, and it'll be another hard day at work for the Sword Corps. Don't forget what we've got our sights on. Nothing less than a completed Pokedex. Oh my gosh, that's right! We'll get it done with Beegers in the lead and me as the valiant assistant, even though you haven't done much of anything besides battle us at this point. Assistant, come now! Don't sell yourself short. You're a full-fledged member of the Surf Corps, too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, thank you. Thanks for that, Professor. Then I guess I'd better eat my fill and get plenty of energy for tomorrow's long day. You haven't done diddly squat except teach me how to catch Pokemon. Like, I have fully surpassed you at this point. There, There is nothing... There is nothing in the game... That has shown you to quote end quote be our rival. Honest. I want you to know I saw the words and my heart dropped. My heart and stomach just dropped. Let me finish my train of thought. Our rival is Volo. Has to be at this point. It's it's not her. It absolutely is not her. It's four o'clock. I can be loud. Kaboom! Disaster looming. Hold up. Hold up. Let me empty my bag. Let me empty my bag because you never know what you might need. You never know what you may not need. Uh, we need the... Give me my revive. I'm pretty sure I might need this later on. I should probably find a way to build more. Honestly. Should probably go build some more revives. Or go buy them. One or the other. All I know is something big is going to happen. Yo, check out the sky! Oh my gosh, beakers! The rift grew. No, the crack grew oh he looks mad <laughs> he looks so mad some sort of deadly energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space time now the entire sky has gone red I have a word from the commander. You are to report to his office at once. <laughs> Everyone's just staring at me. What did I do? Hmm. The way the sky has changed. It is ominous. Very ominous indeed. What's this about? Oh my goodness. <laughs> What's this about, commander? Huh? You did call us here to discuss the quelling of all the nobles, didn't you? That can wait. There is more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Cleaver into a frenzy. It struck that night that Beagus fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Am I a frenzied human being? I'm getting accused of things now? Who or what are you really, Beagus? I'm a human being. 
I'm a Serve Corps member! Indeed, you've done all I ordered! But that does not answer the question of who you really are! You came from the Rift, as did the Lightning! You are connected to those frenzies, are you not? What am I what am I supposed to say? I have a Lux Ray that used Thunder and just caused everything to go into a frenzy? Did you think to gain our trust by quilling the frenzies you yourself brought about? And have gained our trust, what then? What is it you really here after? <laughs> Hold on, Commander. Oh, there's nothing to suggest Beakers has wronged us. Exactly, and besides, do you really think he's got the sort of fearsome power it takes to make all of this happen? Let me ask you in turn. Can you prove beyond a doubt that he is free from guilt? This person, this stranger, appeared out of the rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee he is who he says? Who here can guarantee he is to be trusted? Oh, huh? but that's... No one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? <laughs> Come on, let's be reasonable. What is it? Well, what is Beavis supposed to do? He will be given the chance to investigate the latest disaster, but not as a member of the Galaxy team. He remains a suspect unless he can clear his name. There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. And I. And so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the galaxy team. What? Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you've restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond a doubt. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Huh? How can you act so heartless? <laughs> Kingdom Hearts heartless reference. Ha! I know this is such. <laughs> I know this is such a big moment in the game, but I'm making it a funny moment by thinking of that. Huh? Don't you believe in beakers? Do not attempt to intervene on this behalf. I will do what I must as the commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. Ha <laughs> ha! But I have not forgotten your deeds, nor the unusual skill you have displayed. This is why I have chosen to let you walk out of here free, rather than clamp you in chains. You are to be expelled from the village? Oh my gosh, but... What? Why? <laughs> I can't even do that voice with that expression because I'm just like in disbelief at this point. This, this is intense. Orders are orders. Let's go. Can I get some potato mochi for the way? At least. Everyone's staring me down. I've done nothing but help! Can I talk to anybody? I'm in absolute disbelief. This is insane. We can take it from here, ma'am. Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept the stranger as the member of the Surf Corps. Is it, it is only that 
It is only right that I should personally escort him from the village into the field lands camp. Oh my gosh, I'll also see him off. As will I, naturally. I'll allow it. Then I mark you all down as bomb for the field lands camp. Safe travels. Wow. Like, this is an intense story. Oh my gosh, I can't believe the boss would do this. You were acting on his own orders when you quailed the frenzied nobles. Quite right. Moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn its red. This is utterly intolerable, and I might add, absolutely unscientific. As a man of science, I must fight such illogical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. You will only cause Beagers more pain if you are driven out as well for defending him. However, there are others who might offer help. You'll be an aid to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course! Perhaps Admin or Edward would take you in. Though I'm afraid they've both already returned to the respectful settlements. Perhaps, oh my gosh, perhaps you could try to go find Lion first. He's likely at the Grand Tree Antenna. Oh, don't die alone out there. That's an order. I will ensure you have all you need to complete the survey the commander has tasked you with. If I might offer my advice, in this life, you will meet with both admiration and abuse from others. How others choose to view you is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. All that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values. What did the dream I first shared with you on the Perlug Beach to complete the Pokédex? That dream simply won't come true without you. Can I really not go back? I really can't go back. And look at the sky. This is insane. Okay, well, my goal right now is I really want to know how to make a revive. Because I'm going to need these. I need leeches and velichoke. Okay, so I need to make sure I grab some leeches when I can as well. I'm like... This story is intense. I like it, don't get me wrong, but... Wow, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up a few leeches for now. And see if I can't pick up a few items along the way. That's an Eevee. Hold up. Hold up. Eevees are rare. Eevees are kind of rare. Not seen very often. Okay, well, I just messed that up. Okay, there's the Eevee. Cool. Can you stay in the ball for me? That'd be awesome. Thank you. Okay. Like I said, Eevees are kind of rare. So as soon as I can find them, I want to pick them up. Hey, look! It's an Alpha Mime Jr. I really want that leech, but it's not that big of a deal for me. Oh, that's just a bleep. That looks like a big weasel. And I dodged that weasel trying to, like, aqua jet me. Okay, hold up. Hold up, hold up. I want to see if I can see that. I won't be able to. Okay. That looked like a big weasel that I might need for the future. But this weasel wants nothing to do with me right now. <laughs> That's fine, though. Ooh, I need this. 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 I want to be prepared for certain things to happen. So I want to make sure I pick up 
some revives or craft them in this situation. Let's let's head off to the other area then. Actually, what I just thought of, can I actually do that? I can still fly there. Okay, so I can still fly to camps. Yeah. Yeehaw! Yo, what in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift! If lightning starts pouring from it, all the Pokemon in Isuian could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in a panic now. I should have known that the only thing that could come from the rift was disaster. I need help, dude. G give me some help, please. Help! I will. That's not exactly something I can do. It's not that I wouldn't like to help you, but it would put us in a difficult situation. I truly do wish that I could repay you for quailing Cleaver's frenzy as you did. Y you must know that, but there's nothing I alone can do for you. Warden Maya might be able to help you though. She's a caring woman after all. You'll most likely find Maya at the Warren Bridge. I believe it's a very significant place for her. I'm certain that somewhere in the vastness of Hisuian, there's a place for you as well. Okay, so we need to head off to a different area now. Okay, first off, let's get rid of this pin, please. I need to go to Warren Bridge. This is so intense. I like it, but it's so, like... I don't know what to say. Um... Can I fly with Braviary here far enough? Let's find out. I think it might... Ooh, wait, hold up, hold up. Give me this. This is certainly enough. I didn't even know this was technically considered a bridge. I don't remember her voice that I gave her. My, my, what a frightful sky. Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. You don't know what brought this about, do you? I'm trying to find out right now. I suppose it was too much to expect that you could have already have an answer to all this. And that's another scam likely on my phone. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. The Diamond Clan can end up at war with the Galaxy team. If things went badly, I think you would regret that as much as anyone. The Great Weirder took a liking to you. I want to offer you my support, but forgive me, I cannot help you in this. I do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. Wow, so no one's going to help me. Kerr? Yo, it's a Shinx! Okay. Aww. Thanks, Shinx. I needed that. There's Luxio there, too. Wait, hold up. Are they gonna help me? Follow! 
Strange events seem to follow you wherever you go, don't they? Follow's gonna help us! Oh, found you at last, speakers. I've been looking all over for you, you know. What would I do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? Technically, I haven't bought anything from you. Don't worry, I've already heard what's happened. A good merchant knows well the importance of straying a beast of all the latest news. It seems you're in quite the pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pro Clan to say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy Team has treated you. But no worry, there are still corners of the Suin region where we can stash you away in secrets. I know a spot that will be a perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. Are we going all the way back to the Snow Temple area? No. Here we are. I know, I know, it's no palace, but you know the saying about beggars and choosers. Beggars can't be choosers. This is true. Speak to the person who dwells here at the retreat. You got a dress and all. I want to give her like Mrs. Potts type voice from Beauty and the Beast, but I can't do that. So I'm just going to have to give her an old lady voice. So I got I, I got to get the old man voice and I got to make it high pitched. <laughs> Shaking you. No, I use that for uh the Ursuluna warden. Um, I don't remember her name, to be honest with you. I'm going to use the same voice. Shaking you want to come pursue me again. Even beneath the bleeding sky, you never change. Always a pleasure, mistress. Kagata? But I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn more of Hisuian's myths and legends. I, I, I had a brain fart for a second. I apologize. <laughs> Yo, mistress, thank you. Just Kogata, and this is... Why, Pinkers is the man of the hour. He's the one who quelled the frenzy of all the Pokemon nobles, believe it or not. Oh, the poor wrench you spoke of. Oh. Oh, the poor wrench you spoke of, lost in time and space. You me, lost one. It seems I'm able to fulfill my duty at long last, thanks to you. Duty? What do you mean by duty? Indeed, I am the guide you lost one. For the task of preventing great disaster falls to you. The rift in space-time must be mended. This time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. Who are you, lady? But come, you may enter my dear head away. There's much to be told. What? Who are you? Everything's green. Why are you wearing all black? I'm partially an idiot. Who is the only Pokemon trainer, champion, something that wears black? It's Cynthia. This is Cynthia. Has to be. This is like Cynthia's grandmother. Who knew all the myths. So is this Cynthia's grandmother and Volo is the Cynthia? Because even look at the dresses in the back. The, the, it's black dresses. It's all black. It's all about herbs as well. Has to be the grandmother. This base time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable other dimensions. In what such realm, far and further, still from others, dwells Almighty Sinnoh? Uh, I'm... A, this might be a big decision here. The Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan? Well, technically, I want the Dialga if that's how this is going to go. I'm going to say the Diamond Clan. But I'm pretty sure this is just wrong no matter how we answered the question. The expense of inquiry to eternity and the expense to all sides above and below. Time traces the path we tread from the here and now into the future. While space yawns all in 
encompassingly surrounds us in every direction. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, comprise all creation, the universe. How can one claim that the other is greater than the other, as those two clans do? Uh... You really can't? I mean... Perhaps the truth is clearer to a wanderer such as you, one who has known other ages. Now listen, lost one, here is what you must do. The Syrian holds three lakes of great importance, purity, valor, and security. At each dwells a Pokemon set to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set you, and bear their gifts to the surrounded ruins. There you may see the red chain. With it, perhaps you can bend the world together. Bend the world, you say? You mean it won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old words and what they bid us do. How true they are isn't mine to know. And regardless of the truth, I am bound to pass them on. How colors of my ancestors live to leave their legends to their children without a thought for the hardships it could cause. But here we are. You know your duty, and you'll do it, won't you? Of course. I want to fix things. <laughs> Bigger's the builder. Can he fix it? Bigger's the builder. Yes, he can. Don't ask me why. There is no nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. My phone is still going off. You can see the locations of the three lakes marked on your ARC phone. Technically, we could see those no matter how we did that. We already have the map. Ms. Ricoli has got a lovely workbench here. And if you need materials, I'll be glad to help. I'm always happy to do business with you. Uh, what about the pastures? Um, that is a problem, isn't it? What shall we do about that, indeed? What? What was that cry? Have we now a lost Pokemon as well as a lost child? Do see to it, please. How can I refuse you, ma'am? Off we go, Beers. Okay, I'm not taking another step because there's a lot of stuff going on and a lot of things that I have to contribute into my head right now. My team is set, so I'm not too worried about that. But the pastures is a really big thing. Rest. Workbench, all that stuff, all everything is gone to us at this point. We're in this tiny little shack of herbs and black dresses and black attire. So I don't exactly know what's going on. It looks like that's a stove with some heat ventilation. Of, I don't know. This is very confusing. A lot to think about. Thank you guys for all love and support. I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope you guys are ready for essentially... Close to the end of Legends Arceus, if you haven't already played through and you're watching it with me, I really, really do appreciate it, but I'll see you guys in the very next episode.